Tequila time. Public. I'm Dutch. Jules here. Me amo Dylan. 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 Dion. Dion. Uh, well, welcome to another one of our world famous trademark drink throughs. And we're turning to tequila. We're drinking through the Tapatio lineup. You guys Ooh. ever had Tapatio before? Yeah. You know, it is my favorite hot sauce. Ooh. Well, Yes, this has the name Tapatio on it, <laughs> but this is not what we're going to be drinking today. Is it the same thing? No, no, no. So we're going to be drinking Tapatio tequila. Mm. And do you guys know what Tapatio refers to, what that means? Yeah. Where's my huevos rancheros? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it, someone from Guadalajara. Somebody right? from Guadalajara. So it's, you know, it's kind of a generic term. Um, the tequila is, I mean, I think it's an excellent tequila. I think this is a really fun one to do a drink through of because they've got such nice expressions at each stage. Um, so we're going to be doing this. Um, it's it's a well respected tequila. It was it's been a huge success in Mexico. It's within the past few years come over to the U.S. Uh, in Southern California, it's pretty easy to find. Other locations, I think it's it's rolling out. So hopefully you can find it wherever you are. Uh, it's it's a very well made tequila, very clear, crisp flavors. So this kind of a drink through, I think, will work really well. And no additives, no diffusers, or anything like that. It's just a really high quality product. So value, we've got value, value, right? And a, and value. a huge value because each one of these bottles is one liter. Okay, price point on these is not out of control. I think the Blanco is around thirty. Um, the Repo like thirty five, forty. The Añejo forty five ish. Extra Añejo is where it gets expensive down there on the end. That one will cost you about 100, 120 maybe. Um, but let's kick things off with the Blanco. Blanco. So before we get there, actually, let's just talk about what we have here. We have the Blanco. <clears throat> Their Blanco kicks in. I believe it's, yeah, 40% alcohol, 80 proof. And they also make this, which is their 110 proof Blanco. And now yeah. a lot of people say this is made to use in mixing when you want to mm. make a little higher proof, a little bit of an extra agave kick, you use this. I actually think it's great to sip mm. on as well. I know Dylan's gonna I thought like you it. were gonna say like, they made it for me. They did. So actually put this down there on the end because <laughs> we'll do that one last so we don't blow our palates out at all. Um, and then we've got the Reposado here, the Añejo, and then the Excelencia, which is their extra Añejo. So, you guys ready to do this? Yes. Woo. All right. Blanco time. So let's take a quick look at the bottle here. I mean, I think the bottle design is pretty cool on these. It's very, uh, it just looks like a tequila bottle. There's no other way to put it. <laughs> you know, I don't know. No, it's, it's very tequila-like. It tequila. is. It, it just is. Uh, you know, you'd never see that kind of bottle design. Like did, you show the, did you show the... This oh, yeah. Here? So the back has a nice bit of embossing on it. Yeah. You know, really nice detail there. It's the dancing couple on the back. The same ones that are here on the label on the front. Uh, they're also up here on the little red label there. So, good looking bottle. Let's see how the juice is. Yeah, I think some people really like the Blanco over some of the aged ones because it's so crisp. It's more citrus forward. Um, it's a clean taste. It is. But I do think that a lot of people just use it for mixing or they'll put it in something else. Margarita. That's really true. And you know, what you also find is, I mean, I've got a lot of friends who are crazy tequila nerds and a lot of them, you know, they want to taste the Blanco and they li love to sip on the Blanco because this is where you get very, very pure agave. It's the truest expression, right? It's the truest expect. It's very pure. Um, we should make one mention here. This comes from the, uh, the Highlands. Mm. So there's two main regions for tequila. There's Highland and Lowland. Highland, you're going to consider them to be a little more fruity, mm. a little more fruit forward. Lowland, they tend to be a little more earthier. Um, so... It's a subtle difference. Yeah, sometimes not so subtle, but you might pick up a little bit more of the fruity agave flavors from a Highland like this. So, I don't know if that's really true. I, I really yeah. think it's the production process. That's, I think it's. I think that has a bigger role in 
the finished product rather than, you know, is it... There's a little bit of that terroir, I mean, like, like wine, because you, the, the agave plants mature differently in the different regions. So there is a little bit of a taste difference. I mean, the here. lowland isn't like really lowland. It's like 3,000 yeah. something. <laughs> it's higher elevation, you know? isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like 3,000 <laughs> something above sea level. So, Well, first off, I mean, you guys get the punch in the nose of agave Amazing. flavor on the nose. It's Amazing. It's bright. It's not off-putting. You no. know, it's just... Oh, man, that's good. <sighs> I'm not getting any alcohol burn Ooh, at all. No. Which is incredible for a very, very, I mean, just kind of pure. Uh, I think this is why people like, well, tequila nerds like tequila. Um, it's just crisp, clean, finishes fine. There's no burn. I, it doesn't really taste like the kind of rough, young scotches or, you know, sometimes yeah. the bourbon. This is like that. I mean, in a lot of ways, this is like white dog. For yeah. a whiskey, right? But it's right. not like White right. Dog. This it's more refined. It tastes like a finished but, product, yeah. you know. Fair, so, wow. how would you describe this? I mean, agave. It's definitely agave, right? Agave. But <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting like hints of some kind of, you know, citrus lime. Yeah, there's a little thing. bit of like um, lime peel. Yeah, it's like that touch of of a little bit of like sour. citrus sour and yeah. bitter. Just a touch of the bitterness too from a rind. Yep. Like zest, mm. you know, like somebody put some some lime zest in yes, here. Yes, yeah. I agree. And agave has got an interesting flavor in and of itself. I mean, it's a little bit like citrus, citrus, but it's not quite. Right. You know, it's got a different, almost like a funk to it. Yeah, it has that. It it, it cuts through the sweetness with a little bit of that bitter taste. Yeah. And it's almost like folks that love that dark dark chocolate because of that bitterness kind of cuts mm. through the sweet. Yeah. I mean, that's There's the best nice way I can describe it. Yeah, it's yeah. really no, sweet, it's really but then sweet. that bitterness also yeah. creates a little bit of that balance. Yeah. So. And this is great. I mean, this is one, again, for the price you're paying for this, around 30 bucks for a liter. Remember, you're getting a right. liter. Um, it's not offensive to mix this. It's a fantastic no. one to mix, but again, totally fine to sip on it. I, I think, Absolutely. didn't you say you guys just um, get like a cube of ice and you pour this and then a little twist of lime. Yeah, this is great. Over ice, twist of lime, maybe a splash of, of soda water or Topo Chico or something like that on mm -hmm. top. I mean, it's fantastic mm. flavor. All right, wow. let's move on and let's taste the Reposado. All right, guys, let's move on to the Repo. Um, now, Reposado means, uh, I think it means rested in, uh, in Spanish. So, you will get a little bit of color on these. Now the Blanco, they they dump it in a vat and they do hold it in the vat for a couple months, I think, before bottling it. I don't know what that actually does. Maybe it just allows the flavors to kind of ferment, mature, fully mature. come together. Um, this uh, Reposado, let's get a quick look at the bottle here. It is aged in X bourbon barrels for uh, four months, which is in the in the realm of what you can do for a, for a Reposado. Some Reposados are aged, I think up to six months. Uh, this is a this is a pretty light color. Yeah, you know it's a pretty light color, so it's not super super dark. And I'm okay with that because totally. I don't want them to taint it with food coloring or anything like that. Right. I I just it's okay. It's okay. You it's know okay. you don't yeah. have to make and, it. Dark. And that's another thing that tequila nerds will look for. They'll say, hey, you know what that 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 añejo and that repo. And actually, these two, if you notice, oh. I mean there is an age difference, but they're not super they're not dark. They're yeah. pretty close in color, the two of them. So it's. Something you need to kind of be careful of. I can't just tell by the color. Which <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, you mentioned the coloring. And by law, you can put up to 1% by volume of anything, pretty much, into a tequila. So you get sweeteners. So I could put actual you could put actual You hot could sauce. do that, probably. <laughs> um, I think there's, a, there's a, some approved things. But one of the things you can do is add coloring. And there's a lot of aged tequilas that have coloring. These do not. None of these do, which is, which is wonderful. But, you know, a very light colored Reposado. Great. So on the nose, you can start picking up the oak a little bit. It's like churning it up. Whoa, it's yeah. cranking it up. Yeah. Um, I think this is where subtle though. A yeah. lot more the, is still there. Yeah, a lot more of the like the clean um, blanco taste uh, start to go away though. You know, it's mm -hmm. still there though. Mm -hmm. But you get a little bit of that, almost like a, a light, a touch of brown sugar in the middle. Around the oak, a little oh. oakiness starts coming in, and oh. it's sweetness. Yeah, sweet. It's, it's sweet. very, very wow. sugary. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It just comes in. It's almost like it picks up a little bit of the bourbon sweet. Yeah, you know? oh yeah, because there's like Subtle. brown but not, sugar, but not, and... ma mm. not the molasses. No, no, no. It's not molasses. It's um, more Yucatan white honey? sugar. Not Yucatan. Yucatan. <laughs> you know what it is? Well, actually, you know what? You know the light 
the light brown sugar. Have you guys ever seen? Yeah. So it's like in between like brown sugar and white sugar. It's like yeah. it's right there. It's just got a touch of that dark yeah. flavor in it. Very refreshing. Again. Mm -hmm. So again, hmm. totally acceptable to make margaritas with this. You'll get a little bit of a different yeah. flavor profile than with just the straight blanco. Um, again, also perfectly Balanced. enjoyable to sip on. I mean, it's this is a treat. Do you get any other fruits? I feel like it's still lime, mm -hmm. um, except. You know, it almost tastes like a cocktail. Like they cranked up the sugar yeah. a lot. Um, There's almost like a little bit of like, like if you thinned out apple juice, really, really thinned it out. Mm. It's like pineapple. Could be there though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get any pineapple. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's something almost it's like something a tropical. Something almost tropical. Mm -hmm. It's hard to put your finger on. Wow, very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Wow. Yeah, you know what? I the the smell reminds me of like South Pacific. You know, I've, the, movie? I've, the movie? No. Oh. The, the Broadway show? <laughs> mm. Wow, yeah. Great. Yeah. You guys ready to move on to the Añejo? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's move on to the Añejo. So Añejo is, is uh, aged, and this is also aged in uh, bourbon barrels, first fill. Um, I don't know that the Reposado is in first fill. I, I wasn't able to determine that. But the, the Añejo is aged in first fill. Um, and it is uh, 18 months. So, pretty decent amount of time. Yeah, I think um, I'll, I'll take this time to uh, give you some straight talk with Dylan. <laughs> and uh, reveal some dark secrets here. Uh, with my money, I don't buy uh, Reposado or Añejo. I don't. Mm. I don't see where it kind of fits into uh, what I long for in a tequila. I will buy, for sure, a Blanco of the line. Because I think it's pure, it's clean, I can mix it, I can sip it, I can do whatever I need, depending on my mood. But then, if I want aged, I'm going extra Añejo. I'm sorry, I, can't, I, I skipped the middle ones. Hmm. So, you know, and I think I, I just want that finished product. I, I know that's really biased because, you know, Añejo is still good. It's great. But, I mean, and this is really tasty stuff. I mean, it is so smooth. Any harsh Whoa, edges are nose. gone. Mm. The nose. The, um, that bitter hit of the agave is gone. Yeah. There's still that agave underneath everything, but you got more of that barrel... And a different kind of sweetness and almost in a different mouthfeel to me. Whoa. But different mouthfeel. See, this is this is where I this feel... This feels a little drier. I, I feel like this is a... Mm. You lose the, the clean, crisp citrus of the Blanco. Yeah. And you're not getting that, like, the full mature product of Extra Añejo. So I really... I, I can't figure out where this fits. Other than, you know, basically the pocketbook. Like, if you can't... If these are, like, out of control. Like, some yeah. of these, like, celebrity-endorsed you know, whoever's, you know, it's like $2,000 for the extra in your hill. Stupid, Stupid, right? But I just, these two, it just becomes a... Well, you know, the thing I will say, there are subtleties. And I think if you're doing, if you're making a cocktail, especially if you're doing like a, a ranch water, which is just like with the sparkling water and a squeeze of lime, you will get a nuanced difference between these yeah, three. So sure. they're, they're great for mixing. I, I get it. If you're making um, tequila-based cocktails, you may want those slight right. differentiation between them. But I see what you're saying from a, a pure sipping connoisseur's point of view. The the transition here is it's pretty subtle here. Yeah. So but I, it's a big hit here. It is. Let me let me just say though, why don't you just get Blanco and put part of that and a splash of Well the <laughs> We're gonna do that at the end, so stay tuned. See that's why. <laughs> um, any other thoughts on the Añejo? I mean I, I enjoy the flavors. Solid. It's good. I think, you know, it, it continues the tapatillo uh, you know, quality. And the flavor. It's so smooth. No rough mm. edges. Just I mean, it's definitely very clean and smooth. Smoother than both of these. All sure. the rough edges have been sanded down. Flavor, I it, it's, it's like you just... It's losing the agave now. Well, yeah, you know yeah. what it is? It's, it's the transition from here to here just yeah. continued another step. Right. Yeah. So it's a very... Actually, this is a great way to do this drink through because you can really taste this progression. Yeah, definitely. Are you getting more fruit or are you getting... I'm getting a little more sweet. I'm getting yeah. a little bit more of the barrel coming through. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, a, the, the, the agave is in the background now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's been... It's Turned there. down in yeah. the background. Yeah. It's more barrel forward at this point. You know, the, I think 
Again, I think the lime is turned down. Yeah, but there's still it's more agave. There. It's 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 nice. Yeah. All right. Short agave. Well, I know you guys are chomping at the bit to get to the extra. Finally, you know, thank so you. So let's do it. <laughs> okay, the one you guys have been waiting for. Finally, the extra añejo. <laughs> Tapatillos is called uh, Excelencia, Grand Reserva. Very different looking label, first of all, which is nice. Also, uh, it does clock in at 80 proof. Um, one liter as well. So even though this is in the, uh, I think like 120 bucks is what I paid for this. Uh, even though it is up in that price, you do get a liter. So, I mean, bang for the buck again. Um, and the color on this, now yeah. you really see, this is aged four years. Look at that color. And you want to compare it? Um, yeah, so just even to the Añejo here. Right. Look how different that is. I mean, night and day. <laughs> Completely different. Yeah. <laughs> and flavor-wise, you're now into, I, I mean, these are a big departure from a Blanco. I'm gonna get a little more. <laughs> so, you know, let's talk about, you know, finishing in bourbon barrels, right? So you see that in scotch. Yeah. So it's just basically another distillate in ex-bourbon barrels. Bourbon. Yep. This one, it happens to come from agave. Yeah. Going into bourbon. So, here we go. Oh, it's more like a scotch. Is, yeah, this is incredible. It's like, it's <laughs> but there's still that there's citrus. citrus, citrus no, in the yeah, background. yeah, it's still there. Yeah. It's like a citrusy scotch, like a no peat scotch, no smoke. Yeah, no peat, no oh, smoke. You know, it's Whoa. much more delicate than the like the arete extrañejo. Different. It's it's very um. It's it's much more fruit forward, I'd say. Than let's say molasses or a lot of the sugars, and like I dark think, sugars or dark fruits. Mm. But you get that agave in this. Yeah. You still really get it. It's strong. Ooh. It's not, yeah. It's you, ripe. Very ripe. There's a different kind of sweetness in this too. Yeah. It's almost like it's morphed in, from like lime to like a tangerine mm. to me. Mm. You know, the flavor profile with that kind of slight hint of bitterness, it's almost like grapefruit. You know, Tangerine, you, yeah, I get what you're you know, saying. That's where, kinda... you, where you have like that bitterness, you expect yeah. the bitterness mm -hmm. when you when you like, you know, cut into it. Yeah, yeah. cut into mm. it. It's so nice. It's just so sippable. Yeah. See, this is the thing. I mean, like, don't, <laughs> I, I feel like I skipped these. I mean, yeah. if you're a completionist, okay, fine. You know, I, I get it. I think if you're a connoisseur, for sure, I think these are. If you're doing a drink through. Exa well, <laughs> well, exactly. But yeah, if you're a cocktail maven, because I mean, obviously, you don't do cocktails. So again, I, if I'm gonna do a cocktail, I want to. Uh, a touch of some of the... Well, you're probably going to use that, honestly. Yeah, the one well, true. That, and I, again, I would put a splash of this. Yeah. If I wanted well, a little bit... That's that's a good point. Um, I mean, let's keep enjoying this for another minute, and I wanted to just point out the legs on this thing. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but like it is leaving streaks in the glass. The mouthfeel on this is fantastic. Yeah. Coats it, buttery. Uh, buttery. Oh. Um, <laughs> but it is mm. less intense than some of the other extra añejos. I feel like. That's what I'm saying. What's, what's, what's interesting is I feel like I almost got mm. actual barrel taste a little bit more in the regular the regular Añejo. It's, it's moved beyond that to this, and now it tastes like something different. Mm. It's like it's evolved in those extra, you know, two years, three years. I think it, um, it, it, how do I describe this? It's almost like I'm getting the Blanco in some ways. Like there's, I mean. there's a higher proportion the, the, than the, the, other. Come back off, to the is, is, is. It's almost more prominent than it is in the Añejo, Definitely. but in a different way. Yeah. It's changed. I like how they present it. Yeah, I like how they present it. Yeah. I think it, I, they present the Añejo, I mean the uh, Agave, to me in a very distinct way. And compared to, say, a... You know what um, I, uh, I can't stop thinking about is those chocolate eggs. The orange. Sorry, uh, chocolate oranges. The Cadbury? The chocolate oranges. The ones you smash and they break into little pieces. Okay, okay. But mm. instead of it being a chocolate orange, it's a chocolate grapefruit. And instead of it, it's not dark chocolate. It's like a light milk chocolate. You know, you're, you're talking about that now. I want dark chocolate, and I want to pair it with this. Oh, that would, would be fantastic with right? this. Right? I mean, such a great flavor profile. Yeah, this is this is great. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna finish these and then come back mm. with some fresh glasses for the one ten. All right, Dylan. The one ten. You want to pass that down here? Finally. So, like I said, primarily, I think it's marketed towards. Me? Uh, towards guys like Dylan, and and um, but mainly for cocktails. Um, you know, it says 110 very prominently. So not there. for Dylan. 110 proof, which is uh, apparently the highest uh, that you can bottle tequila. 
under the regulations. So 55% alcohol is the max. So they were like, hey, let's do the max. Um, Thank you. Again, great for cocktails because you're going to get all of the flavors you get in this, but kind of turn to 11 or turn to 100. Ten. And you're going to um, get the alcohol punch. And you're going to get a little, <laughs> well, it's still incredibly small. Well, you guys try it. I'm going to pour you guys yeah, a little extra here because um, actually red, let me give you a little more here. I read on, on somewhere on the internet, we'll call it Reddit, that what's popular, and I never actually knew this, is to take the 110 and put a splash of the Excelencia on top. Whoa. So let's try it first like this, and then okay. we'll try yeah. it with that with that float. unadulterated. Is it like kind of like a homemade uh, Hoven? Yeah, I mean that's exactly what the Hoven concept can be like. So I mean, <laughs> this is like super wow. intense on the nose. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can smell it from here. <laughs> yeah, you know what it intense. is? Again, it's like white dog. I mean, full yeah. disclosure, I do sip white dog. So I mean, there's a little bit of ethanol, but it's. Mostly, it oh, smells like this agave. Is, wow. This is the one to get already from an aroma perspective. Oh, dude. See, I love the, the way this tastes. Wow. It's white dog. It tastes like white dog. Mm. It's just it's great. It is it's like, sweet. do you want some agave? Here, let me smack you in the face with it's it. It's so sweet. But it's I mean, sweet. It's really good. You know, it, it's, um, mm. it's this rich sweetness that you don't get from the lower proof. Yeah. It's, it's and, almost sweeter. Yeah, I, I enjoy this more. Though, though. I enjoy this more. Yeah, you know what? I I'll, I'll take that back. Mm. This and this Ooh. is what I would have on my shelf. So not even a I'm blanco. Good. No, I'm good. I'm good with this because I, I want that hit, but I want that citrus. I'll take this. In fact, you know, if I have guests like you guys coming over, I'll, I'll you know pour a bucket of ice on it, and pour this over, dilute it a little bit, put some lime, and then here, I you know I will sip on this. And then if I want that kind of the deep, rich, uh, ex-bourbon flavors, this is, I'd basically get this. <laughs> this, this is, is very good. This is dangerous, This man. is very good. Mm. It, I could sit here and sip this whole glass. It is wow. that good. All right, you guys ready to try it with the float? Yeah, I'm curious. All right, let's do it. So you just put a dab of it? Or? I just put a couple, you know, just a small little, you know, pour on top. You don't okay. want to use a pipette? Just like that, a little splash. It looks like a champagne. Champagne. I was just thinking oh, the same thing. I put a little thing. bit too much indolence, I think. But. That's all right. I have that. So I, I actually do it as a float. I don't even mix it up. Oh. <laughs> but you can. It's already I mean, mixed. It will diffuse pretty quickly. But you can kind of actually see I didn't mix mine. And you can see the bottom's a little bit more clear. Mm. What do you guys think of that flavor? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not liking the proportion that you provided. Well, you can do um, your own. I, I think that hmm. if we had used the pipette, like I had, you know, explained. Try this one. This one's actually got a good balance. It's interesting, for, at least for me. What's happening is like there's a smokiness that's coming out that wasn't there before. It's. I, I don't know. I like. I don't know if it's just the stronger ethanol on the but. palate. It's. It's. It's like all the citrus hit of this plus this like a more depth of flavor from the. Yeah, that's a better ratio. Better. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I you put a little too much. You, you destroyed mine. Sorry. Thank you. Yours should be about the same as mine. Yeah. Just by color. Pair. Yeah. There you go. Fix it. Fix the ratios. So I guess uh, what we should try to do is come up with like the uh, optimum percentages here because there you go. Now you're at the right color. You better chug that thing to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, all for the show. Just taste. It just taste. But this is nice. Oh, that's better. That's yeah. way better. It, it, it's like all of the bright wow. fruitiness that you like plus... Mm. Like there's that extra dimension with the depth of flavor from yeah. the Excelencia. Mm. Oh, oh, this is great. Here, this is like a, oh, this is like summertime mm. in a glass. Here. All right, let's try Dylan's Dylan's blend here. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mmm, right? That's dangerous. Yeah, that's dangerous. dangerous. Wow. All this right. is delicious. Well, not only is this, uh, you know, a, a drink through, it's also a little chemistry hour here because oh. we've been, uh, isn't that good? <laughs> it's so oh. good. Oh. Uh, I, and it's and it's very different from this. this yeah. Right. You know, I feel this like is... I almost lack the vocabulary to mm. describe tequila flavors. You lack it's... perspicacity? What I, a surprise. Well, with, with tequila flavors, I mean, it, it's different. It's, it's different than rum. It's yeah. different than whiskey. No habla español. It's different than scotch and bourbon 
It's different than well, like, it's a different quadrant of like the sweets. Mm. It's and, such you know, a different fruits. realm. Yeah. It really is, and yeah. it's that that if you haven't tasted agave, yeah, it's like I can't describe that color to you. Right, it's it's hard. Like agave, you have to know what agave tastes like, and if you want to know it, yeah, Tapatio is a great. You won't go wrong. Either of the Blancos yeah. is a great place to get that understanding. I think if you love spirits like we do, I mean, we love just experience. I mean, we're we're you know, life is short. You want to explore the world. If you can't go there, drink their spirit. Totally. And so I, I, I'm always open to trying everything and trying new things. And I got to say, this little mixture with these two. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? It's the way to do it, folks. It's the way to do it. Well, we are curious, and we hope you guys are too. Hope you had fun with this drink through, Jules. Hey, tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Check out our podcast on all your major podcast platforms. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. Salud. Salud. mention this but it's really dry that's what i was saying it's like a it's dry you were talking this, oh. this, yeah. this blend yeah or the, yeah. Or the, well, this one. Like the blend it's just it's just well, really this is dry. dry yeah people who love like dry wine kind of, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, this is wow it's good mm. i mean i i hate it i hate the fact that people have preconceived notions about tequila because they'll never try this but they should totally try this it's yeah. so well i think don't so you think good. the transition from like tears let's say you know if people tried i mean it's really expensive and it's a weird transition i know uh, expensive no, I transition well, but i think that might open it up and open to other it's, things it's, right? if you're a whiskey person you have to start with extra añejos because yeah, you'll no. drink this and you'll be like what the yeah. hell am i drinking yeah no you start with tears you go on to the That's others why. Like, i feel excellent. like we have to recommend extra añejo for tequila and come on tequila nerds we'll spend 150 to, oh, yeah. you know yeah. come on this no is, no this the whiskey is, guys yeah it's yeah. not that yeah. it's yeah. not out of the price range for whiskey it's in their so, price range. Yeah. yeah especially for a liter dude that that's that's a lot of tequila yeah, 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 it's a lot all right that's fun